Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. It is Thursday, December 21st. Currently it is 35 degrees. High today is going to be 52. That'll feel fairly warm. Uh, still no chance of rain for a while. Uh, winds are at 3 mile per hour. So it's not very windy or anything. So like I said, 52 will feel pretty good. All right, today, you know, I I almost forgot about doing this, but it's not too late since today's the 21st. Uh, I did a, a Kitty's Corner, or Kitty did, a Kitty's Corner Christmas edition, uh, and it'll come out today, and uh, it's just hilarious. <laughs> Some of the best jokes uh, that Kitty has come up with. Uh, really, so check it out today. Uh, I dare you not to laugh. <laughs> I know she did. You could hear her all over the house. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, tonight we're not set in stone, but we've got that McAllister's deli card, uh, deli uh, e card, or whatever you want to call it, e, um, you know, gift card. Uh, we we we're gonna wait till like Christmas Eve, but we afraid they got uh reduce uh less hours that day. They're closed earlier that day, and we're afraid they'll probably be jam packed. You know, people wanting orders to go and stuff. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Just either probably today uh, would be a good day. I think Thursday. So um, that's what that's what the plan is so far. But anything's liable to change, <laughs> especially around here. Things happen. Um, okay, today I've got an extra joke that was sent to me from Kim Loves Artie, and I thought it was pretty funny, so I'm going to read that. So y'all check out Kim Loves Artie's channel, and let's see. Uh, it's uh, a blonde driving a car became lost in a snowstorm. She didn't panic, however, because she remembered what her dad had once told her. If you ever get stuck in a snowstorm, just wait for a snowplow to come by and follow it. Sure enough, pretty soon a snowplow came by and she started to follow it. She followed the plow for about 45 minutes. Finally, the driver of the truck got out and asked her what she was doing, and she explained that her dad had told her if she ever got stuck in a snowstorm to follow a plow. The driver nodded and said, well... I'm done with the Walmart parking lot. Do you want to follow me over to Kroger now? <laughs> she was following him around for 45 minutes in the Walmart parking lot. I'm surprised it took him that long to, to see what she was up to. That's funny. That's a good one, Kim. Uh, okay, let's get to uh, our, our regular ones. Let me see if I can find them. They... Who knows where there they are. I got tons of emails. Okay. Uh, okay, this one is called Who's Your Daddy? Uh, while the family was sitting around the dinner table, Jennifer, five, turned to her brother, Andy, three, and pointed to her dad. That's not your real father, she said, startling the whole family. Yes, he is, Andy replied. No, he's not, Jennifer insisted. God is your heavenly father. Then pointing at her dad, she said, that's your homely father. <laughs> homely. Okay. Uh, okay, this one's called It Makes Me Nervous. Sally, hmm, there was something else I had to buy and I can't think of it. Mary, was it tuna fish or cereal or sugar or coffee? Sally, no, none of those things, especially not coffee. I don't drink that awful stuff. It makes me nervous. Mary, they have decaffeinated coffee, you know. Sally, it's not the caffeine that makes me nervous. It's the price. <laughs> well, that's about true these days. Um, I've been, a good, been getting a good deal on uh, a co coffee at Aldi for five nineteen for the classic roast. That's a great buy. Okay, thought of the day. Uh, when, I, when was the last time you were reading a book or magazine in a dream? If you are like most people, you won't be able to recall. More than likely, it has never happened. While not impossible, it's highly unlikely. Why does it not happen? Reading is a function of the right side of the brain. Dreaming comes from the left side. 
When you are dreaming, your right, the right side of your brain is at rest. Hmm. Then I've been having some pretty crazy dreams lately. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Okay, so tri so now it's time for trivia time. Uh, let's just grab one right here. Um, okay, I probably don't know a whole lot about this if the whole thing's about it. But what is Starbucks' most popular seasonal beverage? We'll try it and see. Uh, maybe y'all know more about Star Starbucks. Uh, ch chestnut praline latte, pumpkin spice latte, caramel brulee latte, Irish cream cold brew. Okay, we'll go to it. Okay. I say... I don't know. I hear a lot about pumpkin spice, so that's what I'll go for. Hey, I got it. Starbucks debuted the pumpkin spice latte in 2003, and the PSL grew to be the company's most popular seasonal drink, selling more than 600 million since its inception and fueling its adoption by rival coffee chains and neighborhood cafes. Wow. Man, as much as they charge for one, <laughs> They're probably super rich. Um, during what season do do cherry blossoms bloom in Washington D.C.? Spring, fall, summer, winter. Mm, boy, this is tricky uh, because I know they can they bloom it. You would think spring though. I mean, that's when all other blossoms really come out. But I've heard some things about them like I've seen them was it in Japan and it seemed like it was spring there too I'm gonna go for spring I probably could be wrong no it is right okay nothing signifies the arrival of spring in the nation's capital quite like the blooming of the cherry blossom trees and the national cherry blossom festival to celebrate the occasion Wow, I bet that's, and this was, uh, the festival is full of events to honor American and Japanese cultures and represents a close bond forged between the two countries that began with Tokyo Mayor Yukio Ozaki's gift of the trees back in 1912. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. I'd like to see those. I've seen, you know, pictures and, like, videos, but it'd be nice to be there. What is the seasonal movement of animals from one habitat to another? Prevention, migration, germination, concentration. <laughs> Come on. These are about goofy. I think almost everybody would know it's migration. <laughs> concentration. <laughs> Animal migration is the relatively long dis mo distance movement of individual animals, usually on a seasonal basis. It is the most common form of migration in ecology. I'm having some trouble with my floaters, y'all. They're all over my eyes, and it makes it, it, makes it hard to read because it can go right in front of a word. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm, having, I'm just having a rough time when it does that sometimes. So let's see. So the next question. In which season does the Eiffel Tower get bigger? Bigger? Spring, summer, winter, autumn. Well, if, if what I'm thinking is uh, when you heat something up like the metal, it expands some. So I'm going to say summer. Right. Like any metal, puddled iron is sensitive to variation in temperature, so it reacts to high temperatures in summer and low or even negative temperatures in winter. When the temperature rises, the tower increases in size. This is a natural physical phenomenon called thermal expansion. Hmm. Okay, what is another name for the season called fall? Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Come on, are these these are some of these are just too easy today. I mean, I think everybody would know that fall is like autumn. There's kind of 
It's a couple of them then. Too easy. Uh, autumn, also known as fall in American English and Canadian English, is one of the four temperate seasons on Earth. Which popular festivity takes place in Rio de Janeiro every summer? I'm not for sure about this. Cowboy Festival, Sirio de Nazare, Festa Jun uh, Jun Junina, Festa Junina, or Junina, or what? I'm not for sure. J U N I N A, Rio Carnival, Carnival. I think I've heard Carnival before. I, I mean, I've heard that term with something like these. Uh, festivities. Rio Carnival is what I'll... And that's right. The Carnival in Rio de Janeiro uh, is a festival held every year before Lent in the summer month of February. It's considered the biggest carnival in the world with two million people per day on the streets. Oh my gosh. I couldn't handle that. Mm-mm. And, you know, it makes me wonder they probably didn't have it for a few years, I guess, with the uh, pandemic. You, you know, they wouldn't allow people to be, I don't know if it's the same over there, but um, you wouldn't think they would have had it, you know. Uh, okay, next question. I got six right. None wrong. I'm surprised. How many hours of daily sunlight does the South Pole get in the summer? South Pole, 24 hours, hi kitty, 8 hours, 5 hours, none. Okay, I know, um, I don't know, really know if it was the North Pole or South Pole, but it is dark all the time uh, for a certain period, uh, but I'm not for sure which, how many hours of daylight does South Pole get in the summer? I, I'm going to go with none. I might be wrong on this one. Nope, it's 24. I'll say it's sunny all the time. I got it backwards. I know one of them, it's dark for so many months or something. Okay, so I missed that one. It got me 24 hours. During summer in Antarctica, the sky is never dark. Around the summer solstice, weather conditions permitting the sun is visible 24 hours a day. Okay, in the winter... Okay, in the winter months, the opposite occur. Okay, the lack of darkness and long night affect human Canadian rhythms. Uh, so it's so it's light out for 24 hours during the summer, and then in the winter it's dark. So that would be crazy, you know. Okay, I missed one. Six and one. When does the summer solstice solstice start in the northern hemisphere? June, March. September, December, December. <laughs> I was trying to read on it with a summer solstice start in the northern hemisphere. June. I wouldn't think it would be like in September because it's not that warm, and, you know. I, I'm going to go with uh, June. Okay, and they got March, September. In December, June. That's right. Uh, for two moments each year, called solstices, the Earth's axis is tilted most closely toward the sun. The hemisphere tilted most toward our home star sees its longest day, while the hemisphere tilted away from the sun sees its longest night. Well, I got seven right and one wrong. We got two more. How long will winter last if a groundhog sees his shadow on February 2? Six more weeks, three more weeks, five more weeks, two more weeks. Sees his shadow. Was it six? I, I think it's six. I mean, I might be wrong about this too, but yeah, it is six. Groundhog Day is a popular North American tradition observed in the United States and Canada on February 2 of every year starting in the 16th century. Wow. 
It derives from the Pennsylvania Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerges from its burrow on this day and sees its shadow, it will retreat to its den uh, and winter will go on for six more re weeks. If it does not see its shadow, spring will arrive early. Well, I know our groundhog out here is missing. Let's see if he comes out on February. I, I don't know if that's the same thing as a, a ground. Yeah, it's groundhog. We got one. Bob. His name's Bob. Uh, let's see. We'll see if he comes out on February 2nd. Okay. I'll have to film him if I can catch him out. He must be hibernating now. One more. Eight right, one wrong. In which part of the U.S. is, those, is the lobster roll a summer staple? Southeast, Pacific, Midwest, New England. Lobster roll. Lobster roll. Uh, for some reason, I think it's New England. And that's right. And it showed a lobster. Uh, native to New England, the most common types of lobster rolls are Maine, which features a cold mayonnaise-based lobster salad, and Connecticut, in which the lobster meat is tossed in butter and served on, warm on a bun. Ooh, sounds good. Whichever style you prefer, we certainly don't judge. A classic, a classic lobster roll is perfect summertime treat. Yes, I bet. I've never had one. Okay, nine right today. And one wrong, I'm surprised. That's that's a pretty good score for it. But some of them, you got to admit, were pretty easy today. I mean, some of them were almost funny. Uh, so anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And definitely check out kitty's corner christmas edition oh man i didn't think she was going to make it through it uh her eyes were watering and everything she was laughing so hard so <laughs> oh you just wouldn't believe it so thanks for watching everybody like i said and check out kitty's corner later on you're gonna love it bye everybody and god bless